Hey, what is going on, SMT Nation? It's your boy, the SMT. Let's talk about AT&T and what I see is happening right now in the CLE. I want to share my experiences with you all and then, you know, kind of let this serve as of what to maybe look out for if you're an AT&T customer or if you're looking to switch carriers to AT&T, maybe they're becoming a good option for you. But I wanted to share this with you guys because it is absolutely incredible. They're doing huge upgrades in the CLE that are making a big difference. Now, of course, everybody likes to you know, celebrate the incredible things going on with 5G, and that's awesome, and it's true. But we're starting to see huge LTE upgrades in a big way on AT&T and the CLE. So this first speed test was a speed test that I did on my way to work, one of three tests that I ran consecutively. So this first tower site that I tested came in at a 308 megabit per second on the downlink and 14 megabits per second on the uplink, 26 millisecond uh, ping time. So this, I've never gotten this before. That is the fastest LTE speed test I've ever gotten on AT&T. Uh, previous to this, I was only getting, you know, 150 to 200, which is great, but I don't know what they did. Uh, I was driving to work, so I didn't get a chance to look up at the tower sites, check out the gear, but I think we're seeing fiber backhaul upgrades. This is a second test that I took right after the first one, after I got onto a different tower site. So I drove up about two or three miles, and then I tested this one, and I got 292 megabits per second on the downlink, 19.4 on the uplink with a ping time, um, when, like in like the high 20s. So all, I again, I have to go back and test these. I want to also test them at a different time, maybe test them in the evening when there's a little bit more traffic on the network. But I'm super encouraged by these upgrades. And then this third test, this one broke the previous record of the first test. 351 megabits per second down and about 15 megabits on the up. And uh, again, the latencies there, you'll see them in the in the mid to upper 20s. So AT&T is upgrading a ton of sites over here. You know, I, I've been watching the speed increases on the downlink for like the last year or two. Uh, previous to this, you know, AT&T was, a, they were solid. They were getting like, you know, 50 to 100 megabits per second on the down. And then last year I saw huge gains you know, towards like 100, 150 megabits. Some sites were getting about 200. It was pretty impressive. Now I'm seeing this. So they're doing a huge, you know, pace, uh, great pace of upgrades. Uh, they're scaling their upgrades. Uh, I'm noticing it. I'm, I'm, I'm going to continue to test more parts around the city. But um, again, huge upgrades across the entire city i'm super excited to continue to test different parts of the town i'll be doing more at&t speed testing and i'll share those results with you but clearly at&t is doing big upgrades on the lt side not necessarily on the 5g side again i think that's going to be more of a c-band thing uh downtown they've got a lot of 5g plus i'm going to do a video on that but uh, i know a lot of people are sleeping on at&t you know they're not as aggressive as verizon they're not as aggressive as you know, uh, T-Mobile, but in my opinion, I think they're doing some things right. Uh, their plans are awesome. You get full access to these types of speeds. I mean, even just to video, you know, you could do 4K video. There's no restrictions. You know, you can't say the same thing about Verizon unless you're on ultra wideband and you can't say the same thing about, you know, T-Mobile unless you're on, you know, an older T-Mobile One Plus plan or if you're on the Magenta Max plan. So I'm really big on AT&T right now. It is probably the best LT carrier in the state of Ohio. I can say that with some confidence. And uh, they're really starting to win me over and I'm really excited about it. Actually, let me know if, if in your market you're seeing similar results to this. Are you seeing similar upgrades? Are they scaling the same way? Uh, is it what you're seeing? Are you seeing better than this? You know, Share your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section. I'd love to hear what you have to say. The voice of the people, the SMT Nation, let your voice be heard. Thank you for taking this opportunity to watch the SMT YouTube channel. If you appreciated this video, give it a like and a share to all your favorite social media platforms. Thank you in advance for that. Also, check out some of the links in the description box. We have the SMT Patreon page. We also have the Twitter handle at Sneed Tech. And do check out the audio-only podcast available on all the major podcast platforms. And if you are new have not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and activate the bell notification icon so you never miss an upload from the SMT. We'll catch you on the next video. Peace.